Recently, the power meter in my home was upgraded to a digital version. I wondered how this system worked, so I did some research on it. If you look here, every once in a while, you'll see the wave shape moving. That, that is outbound modulation from the substation to power meters in my distribution area. My meter, if it responds, will make a small glitch here and here. Uh, it's a very high frequency glitch, but the outgoing signaling from the substation is low frequency, and it's this very small thing you see here. Now that looks small, but we're on 100 volts per division, so it's bigger than you think. And that variation actually shows up, as you can see here, actually shows up as the lights flickering slightly sometimes. And I wondered why I had so much of that. And it turns out what you're seeing here is power line communications. This is called a um, TWACS, a TWACS system and it's in use by Pertinalis Electric. And that's what that is. Now, my meter hasn't responded back yet, so we're not seeing anything. Any meters that answer back would do that with a very small glitches uh, 40 degrees from the zero crossings. But these uh, modulations that you see here and here from time to time are in fact uh, communications from the uh, substation outbound. There's one right there. See it right there takes a big giant piece of equipment to do this because you're actually modulating the sine waves, uh, you know, outbound, there's some more right there, uh, from the grid or from the power system. So it takes a large piece of equipment to do the uh, outbound transmissions. The inbound transmissions um, from uh, the meters are small glitches of about 100 amps that show up as a tens or volts or so uh, near the zero crossings. Again, these are all outbound signals you're seeing now. Anyway, I thought that was very interesting, and that's how the uh, GE uh, meter that I have on my house works. Over and out.